sir i want to ask you one thing yeah please uh, Okay, okay, we are trying, we are trying uh, to improve uh, our understanding, understanding about, about your lectures. Your lectures. So, for, for example, example, next week next our week classes will be, will be will be finished. So yeah, after, yeah, yeah. after three, three weeks, weeks or one or month one later, month if we have any problem, have any problem. Maybe, yes, yes, yes. Maybe. Yeah. So, so that's do. why uh, I also provided that lifetime teaching support. Basically, uh, not only for the seven days when you, when it will be finished all of lecture, then when you face any problem, okay. So before the one day, you can just knock me. and take your schedule time and then join with me for your problem thank okay we should face thank you. Thank then you can easily so get the solution and it continues for the lifetime thank you so thank much sir so because much. now we now are we adding our baseline, baseline information, information. But yes then we will work on our projects project. then maybe we yeah yeah, yeah 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 then you hmm. must face the problem so that's why we are yeah. also providing these facilities when you face any problem you can easily get the uh, solution no problem thank you so much so your lectures lecture are very excellent very easy easy to understand, understand. help okay, you thank you thank you thank you sir uh, excuse me sir yeah please uh, sir i sent one code through whatsapp sir uh, did you receive it sir okay okay i will okay tomorrow inshallah i will send you this feedback okay so i, I am i was very busy so i will check it and tomorrow inshallah you can get the feedback okay thank you okay, sir thank you okay Okay so any for any question Okay so uh, so if you want to join this online training program on Google Earth engine for 7 days so you can simply complete your registration for that you can simply contact in this WhatsApp number as well as you can also contact with this email so i already add all of those things in the video description then you can simply check it and then you can easily join our upcoming best online training program so basically this class will be start from then uh, 17 may and admission last that is the 15 may and first time registered people will get the 50% discount on this online training program and basically in this online training program you will learn all of those things which you need to start the journey with google earth engine platform if you have no knowledge about the coding mainly javascript or python don't worry about that in this online training program you are able to learn all of those programming language such as javascript or python so here you can see i already added all of those course content mainly what you will learn after completing the total 7 days online training program if you want you can also check all of details from my video description i already added all of things in my video description so when you want to join this live training program you can get some benefit after submitting all of assignment you can get the course certificate you can get that all of materials mainly slide pdf you can get all of practice code okay and you can also get the recorded class suppose if you miss any live training session you can easily cover using the recorded class as well as you can also get the lifetime teaching support it's very important as a beginners because when you want to fa uh, face any problem regarding any issue in your code you can get the live training teaching support okay so if you want to join this live training session you can simply contact in this whatsapp number as well as also contact with this email and get the 50% discount so book your seat as soon as possible after booking your seat you can able to join our google classroom and also join our whatsapp group so thank you how i can add the layout i will show you that so for adding the layout so just you can simply click on here you can see it show the layout view or if you want you can simply click on the edit sorry view view option you can see view and layout view just simply click on here layout view so now you can get this type of interface so now i want to increase the map size for increasing the map size you can simply click on here you can see the zoom in so increase in this time you can see map frame so you can see you want to increase the corner this type of size so for that you can simply click on this cursor this cursor and then simply press the sidebar and simply increase so i increase that and also increase that okay. and then suppose i want to move the map i want to move only for this map so for moving this map you can simply click on the hand tool click on the hand tool maybe it's called the pen tool and then simply put the proper place on your map in here okay if you want you can also increase the page size also increase the page height and page width you can also increase for doing this thing simply click on the file tool and you can see the page and print setup click on here and now from here you can simply you can see that 
the okay just i simply uncheck this thing and i want to put you can see you can input here the different types of standard size you can also choose the a4 size page or we you can see a4 a4 3 so different types of size you can also increase uh, from here also you can uh, randomly you can put the value suppose i want to uh, with suppose uh, 10 and also height suppose i put here that height is the 12 okay and randomly i put you can see the unit is the in c uh, millimeter which you prefer you can simply see i will put the in c and you can see the portrait or landscape okay sometime some map is also more uh, better view for the landscape phase or portrait phase better view so orientation is basically depend on you so in this time i want to put the portrait and then okay okay so i can see that my page size is also increasing for that so for that i simply click on this cursor tool again and then further i increase the frame size the proper and then i simply click on the pen tool mainly hand tool and move the map on the proper place suppose i put the map in here okay so now uh, it's also look more better so now i want to add the map elements so basically map map basic element is the title legend not line scale okay so this type of element i want to add for the making the proper map so for doing this thing just simply click on the insert first of all title just click on the title suppose i put the title is that land use and land cover map any title which you choose and then okay now further after creating the title i want to add the more style about this title so for more style of this title simply click double click on this title here you can see the change symbol just click on here Further, you can see if you want, you can also put the different types of font. Suppose you can put here the different types of font for your title. Okay, I put the Arial. And also, you can see increase the title size, font size. Suppose I put here the 24. And also, you can see that we can put here the bold font. Okay, so different types. So, you can also you can see different types of uh, styling about the font. Also, there are example in here. So, further, you can also add the more styling this unit. And further, just click the app. Okay. And also, apply and okay so now you can get this type of title okay so now i want to add the lesion for the lesion just click on the insert again and here you can see the um lesion in this time i want to add the lesion for this item you can see extract tip five this file i want to add the lesion so for that i simply keep this file it automatically keep no problem and then for the uh, next also you can put here the lesion you can put the lesion title suppose if you want you can also put here that uh, lesion or anything any lesion title you can put in here suppose when you want to make the precipitation map you can put the precipitation and also put the unit suppose i want to make the nitrogen dioxide concentration map so you can put here the nitrogen dioxide concentration and so mention about the unit suppose ppp or mole per meter square just choose your title about it, the lesion and also you can see uh, uh, lesion size or uh, bold you can simply select this type of things also lesion color okay title color you can also choose the your own color so then next in this time you can also add the border about the lesion title you put the default and this time you can click on the area so here you can see you can see the different types of uh, option for this area suppose natural area you want to show this type of feature or water body this type of feature okay or custom is the custom for the uh, show the uh, class level so i have to show that this natural area all of natural area and to show so then uh finish it so now it can create this type of place and here you can see or if you want you can also put only for the rectangle box it also okay no problem and further simply increasing these things so increasing yeah so i can see it show about that lesion water body vegetation uh build of barren land we can get all of these in here further i want to add here the north line so click on the insert here you can see the north arrow and you can see different types of still about the north line you can simply choose anyone and then suppose i choose it and further i want to keep in this portion okay, just selecting and then drag and then put your proper place this place you want to put suppose i want to Put this place in here further if you want you can also add here the scale 
for the scale of this map just simply click on the insert and here you can see the scale bar and you can see the different types of scale bar in here choose any one then for that suppose i'm going to choose it and also against the mode style about that you can simply change the scale unit or click on the properties then you can get the more option about you can see the division miles kilometer meters so suppose i select here that uh, meters unit and further uh, apply and okay and also okay so now further keep the skill in the proper place uh, suppose i put in here have a skill about that and further if you want you can also add here that suppose line suppose grid line mainly latitude and long did you want to add that for doing these things just simply click on the layers you can see the layers click and go to the properties and for the new grid click the new grid okay you can see the what do you want to create okay, so radical division map by median and parallel okay it also default just next okay next next so finish now further put at the properties and set the some option i need the vertical level okay suppose uh, level orientation i set the vertical level left and right okay left and right then it will look more better for the vertical levels and further you can see the axis i want to show the inside display ticks in the inside and also inside and also the major major division ticks suppose you want to uh, show only for the suppose in this time major division and subdivision if you want to un uncheck this type of things then top is uh, removed the major uh, uh, division ticks will be removed so i want to keep all of things and also entire level okay it's also okay and levels i want to increase the size about the grid i mean related to language size suppose 12 and also if you want to also choose the color about that lines put here the don show lines it, uh, remove all of lines from your map and then further apply and okay also apply and okay. so now it create this type of you can see value and now okay i also move may, make the better view for that i simply rearrange these things again suppose i just simply increase this part Further also increase with this part and further just proper place. I also increase the font size about this grid line, uh, grid for latest longitude font size. So simply go to the properties and further just click on the properties again and go to the level, just increase the level size. Suppose I put at that 18. And further apply and also okay apply and okay and so now you can get this type of map and if finally if you want you can also add here the base map suppose just click on the you can see the add the base map and mainly when you want to add the base map you must be connected with your online otherwise this this option is not work so click on the add base map and further you can see different types of base map you can easily add imagery topography or national geographic base map it's about i do say let the topographic and then add it so now this jazz map is also added behind this my map it's working Okay, you can see this best map is adding. Basically, it's connecting from the online. Take some time. Okay, you can see this best map is added. Okay, and finally, I want to export this map. So for that, simply click on the file option. And here you can see the page and paint setup. Sorry, uh, you can see the export map. 
and further you can see you can simply select, uh, select your specific location suppose i select on the desktop and further you can put the name suppose data in ulc and also you can see you can save with the different format pdf format or jpg format png format i choose the jpg for photo format and resolution keep uh, 300 dpi okay. you can see it's a basically it's a standard uh, resolution 300 dpi so just i use it and then further save it so now try to find out this map in my desktop where is it yeah so this is the map just open it okay, so now you can get this type of final map okay so basically when you want to work for any got format after downloading in google earth engine platform just apply the same process for creating the final map using arc map software it can be ndvi NWI, or any other map just use the same process then you can easily get that this type of result okay so basically this is the process using this process you can easily make any map after downloading the geotip format from google earth engine platform yeah. okay so any any question any any question okay so any question for the previous class for any doubt for, for the previous class